there everyone it is just about the end of april um it's wednesday april 29th tomorrow i'm going to be heading out to our local trail system to tackle the 100 mile challenge thank you mr mills uh, my teammate he was the first one to do this about a week ago um, since then we've had a buddy do it and now i'm going to be the third to try this kind of building back up i had a foot injury over the winter so i didn't get to do a whole lot of training and I've been doing just mostly endurance and tempo rides, so I'm in my um, seventh week of doing that since I've been back. We did a ride in St. George two weeks ago that was 77 miles, and I was just, I felt like I was eating the whole time, and I still felt really good, so I think I'll be able to get it done. This route does have 16,000 feet of climbing, um, so it's quite a bit more. That route we did in St. George was only 5,000, so. Yeah, I'm going to start at 6.30 a.m. and just keep grinding. Uh, kind of first big challenge of the year, and I'm excited. Alrighty, good morning. It's just a little bit past when I was going to get out here, but that's alright. It's about 7 a.m. I'm just loading up the route on my Wahoo. I do a lot of riding here, but there are actually some trails that I've not ridden on, so I'm pretty stoked to just check all those out. Let's get it rolling. I'm 7.7 miles in. I've got 1,600 feet of climbing under me. Just getting to the top of Ann's. About to hit Maple Hollow. Between that and Jacob's Ladder, those are the two gnarliest downhills out here. So I figured I'd tackle this one right away. Jacob's is coming about 80 miles in. So I'm a little nervous how the hands and body's gonna feel on that one. This one I'll be totally fresh for, so gonna have a good time on it. So, I'm no mechanic, but I've been having some issues with the shifting and I tried to fix it and I totally made it worse. I don't know if the issues are coming from the shifting. Um, there, I've got a creek going on. All right, well it's been a little bit since I adjusted the shifting. Shifting is working just fine. So I'm not sure what the creaking is. Uh, at this point, I'm just gonna keep rolling. Fingers crossed, the bike holds up the whole time. Shifting's going good, I feel good. Keeping her just toned down a little bit and yeah, having a good time on these wonderful trails. Alrighty. Hi there. Just got back up to the top of Maple Hollow. I'm on my way to what's called Alien Tower right now. It is right up there. One section right towards the top that's super steep. And then just laid some rocks down. I had to walk it last time last year, so we'll see if that's good to ride or not. Decided to get this one out of the way right away. 22 miles in now, and we got 4,000 climbing under the belt. Doing good, just trying to keep that heart rate lower. Been running in the 150s, a little higher than I was planning, but I think I'll be all right with that. So, fingers crossed. So there's some of the steep spots, so here we go.
I am making my way out to the back side of Suncrest. There's uh, like four downhill only trails, three main ones, and I think they just built a beginner one out here. I believe the same people that built the lap trails in Whistler are the ones that came out and did it. They got massive berms, super fun flow trails. Nothing too crazy, but just a great time. So we get all three downhills complete on the back side of Suncrest, uh, Levitate, Vertigo, and Zoo something, can't remember that name. Um, bike's creaking a little bit more, fingers crossed it'll make it a little further. Um, get back, I'll re-lube the chain real well, see if that helps it. Um, if not, just hopefully it'll hang in there. I still feel pretty good. We are at 37 miles. And I've got 6,500 feet of climbing, so still a long, long ways to go. A little over a third done though, so. Gonna keep on moving. I've got one more I think, downhill and then a climb and then another downhill and then it's the halfway point back to my car. So right at that point I should get some tools and just check all the bolts, make sure everything's good, reload the chain, clean it real good and see if that can take care of any of that noise or not. Cool. Let's get it.
here. Got a little slip up back there. Three sections, a little slip here. Got a little traffic up here. Hi there. Can I get around you when you get the chance? Thank you, just me. Love this turn. past that halfway mark um, 51 miles in and what do I got here 7,500 feet of climbing so still a lot to go yeah. close to halfway with the climbing a little over half the distance um, still feeling really good just keeping eating and drinking um, I've been running a little higher heart rate than I was planning on I've been in the 150s uh, just real low 150s 140s but I've done races where I've been kind of higher than that for like that six, seven hour range. So hopefully having it down a little bit, I'll last through that whole hundred. Heard it gets harder, kind of mile 60, then mile 80 is where it really starts to sting. So we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna get the chain all lubed up here. Um, check all the bolts, make sure everything's torqued and tight and hopefully uh, kind of eliminate some of that noise there. So, cool. Alrighty, so the way I live, just kind of down out that way about four miles out from here. Normally I get to ride to these trails. It takes about 15 minutes. Been here for about a year and a half now. Had a mountain bike for about a year. And still can't get over just how unbelievable the trail system is. Like right by where I get to uh, live. So pretty grateful for that. You know, I came from road biking. The road biking is still amazing here. I ride that thing just as much, but I think the mountain bikes got me a little bit. This is just a perfect blend, because I used to snowboard too. And this just combines kind of that adrenaline rush from snowboarding with the, uh, you know, the background and running and my need for endurance training and, and just the technical skills and being out in the woods are just a little more adventurous. So you see, 54 miles in. Try not to run out of things to talk about, what's going through the head. Uh, so far it's been so good though, like, I'm starting to feel it a little bit with the heat now. Just making sure I stay below 160 for sure. Trying to stay in the low 150 heart rate zones. My max is 193. Threshold's kind of 166 for me. So definitely staying out of that today. Um, and yeah, just been enjoying the grind. Trusty top feel, although she's creaking, she's still holding up good. So fingers crossed she'll make it all the way. And yeah, we're going to keep on this cruise. Got some uh, young Jeezy playing in my head, keeping me going. I love 
love this little section here. Just a teeny tiny taste of Park City, as I like to call this. Getting the pine trees, the water. Remind me of my first time going to Tahoe as a kid. Loved snowboarding back then. And, oh, every time I get around pine trees, it just makes it feel good. I wish I had more right where I live, but maybe someday. For now, it's all right. And if I did, it's probably a little colder still. Here we are, Jacobs. All right, this one is considered probably the gnarliest trail. It's starting to rain a little bit, but hopefully we just get sprinkled on. Found some water, beautiful. Alrighty, Clark's Trail we go, 80 miles in. This is a special one to me. When I got here and got into mountain biking, I, you know, you gotta look on Strava, find the segments, and this just seemed to be a really good one. A little under 10 minute, nine minute area, and suits me really, really well. Pretty steep, took me three tries. My third try, I nailed the KOM by two seconds at the time of 9-11. I will not be PRing today. Heard you had set out kind of the goal this year of uh, PRing or going to sub nine. I think that'd be really cool. I'm on the nine nine top field this year. Last year I did it with nine eight, which was 26 pounds. This one's 24 four. So a little lighter weight, a little better suspension. But if I can get a little better fitness, I think I could do a sub nine. I always remember this part. You think you're getting close, but it just kind of grinds and grinds. Looks pretty nice out that way, so I think we'll get lucky. Just a couple sprinkles, not enough to make it muddy. just a little bit because the heavens decided to open up. Figured I'd head this way since it looked pretty clear, which it's cleared up now and should be cleared up over there. So I'm gonna do this little section and hopefully by the time I get back there, it's all ready to rip. Got 15 miles left, feeling better. Ran out of water for a while. Right now I'm just at this cool little suspension bridge. So I guess it's a pretty decent sized drop there. I'm gonna keep on getting it, 15 miles to go.
through. Might have a scratch on the top of my helmet there now, but got it. Folks, we are on the final climb. 95 miles complete, five to go up this down rush, and it's gonna be a day. Woo! miles corner cannon awesomeness just chilling here next to these handicapped spots because I can't really move right now um, no I'm kidding I'm actually not too bad uh, I'd say the worst of it was from hour 7 and 20 minutes all the way up to 8 hours I ran out of water and it was super hot um, that's the longest I've ever ridden my mountain bike I will say I'm pretty happy with the setup as far as my fit now I felt um, I had said before there was some creaking going on, but the trusty top fuel made it. Thank you guys for following along. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna try and make more of these to come. Fingers crossed, things kind of calm down with the whole COVID thing, and we can get back to doing some racing because that is what we want to do. And also, shout out, thank you Mills. Mills again for uh, inspiring me to do this ride. It was a fun challenge. All right, that's a wrap. Peace. Um, I'm going to show you guys this awesome view I'm checking out one more time here. Just a beautiful sunset. Finished just in time for it. My lady's bringing me some food, I believe, or we're going to get some food after us here. I know she's bringing me a Coke. I'm really excited to drink that. Mm, my lady is the best. Look at her and look what she brought me. Is this Chipotle? Chipotle. Chipotle! This is my burrito! Woo! Oh, you see burrito? Burrito? Woohoo! Oh. Thank you, honey. Love you. Oh.